It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Zigong Fang, who is an Associate Professor of Economics at UNO. So Dr. Fang, today's question is, why has there been an increase in the price of gas and other goods in the U.S. economy? Thanks for the question, Brandon. Current economic data indicates that the U.S. inflation is at a multi-decade high with consumer price 8% higher than a year earlier. Several factors contribute to this rising price level and the cost of living. This includes labor shortage, supply chain bottlenecks, and a rising post-pandemic demand. Inflation matters to alternate people because it is threatened and squeezing households and corporate income as the essential commodities become more expensive. To preserve their margins, some big companies choose to push the pan through to their consumers by charging a higher price. Other manufacturers, service, and hospitality providers will sell their product for the same price but with shrink size and a limited service. The current inflation is way above the central bank's 2% target while the U.S. economy is running very hot with extraordinarily tight labor market and the national unemployment rate is historically low level 3.8%. This gives the Fed confidence to raise its benchmark interest rate during their March meeting. This is the first time since 2018, and the market expects that it will be additional 5 to 6 rate rates this year. Fed assessment that they can engineer a soft landing. It means that the inflation returns to around its 2% goal and the economy remains strong without a substantial increase in unemployment. However, recently two-year trigger note yield rose above those of the 10-year for the first time since August 2019. Typically, a recession has followed in the two years after inversion of this measure of yield curve. Now, Russia's invasion of Ukraine adds further uncertainty and it brought us with new inflation pressure from higher energy costs sharp run-up in grain price. With domestic high inflation, potential incoming recession risk, and additional inflation fueled by the Ukraine war, we are likely facing a severe stagflationary shock, which is a combination of economic stagnation and high inflation. This happened in 1970s when energy price skyrocketed due to an embargo led by OPEC. It is worth mentioning that the Ukraine war will have spillover effect on broader economy. Geopolitical tensions will lead to business and the government to reassess their reliance on global supply chain and their dependence on other nations. Companies will ship back to onshore or nearshore of their operations. This will result in some pullback from globalization. It will also have in significant impact on climate change. In the near term, the world needs to search for alternatives to Russian oil and natural gas, which will slow the progress towards net zero emission. In the longer term, the recent events will accelerate the shift toward greener and renewable energy as higher price for fossil fuel will make other renewable more competitive. For further information, please check our website at unomaha.edu. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Fang, for sharing your expertise on the topic. For our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts, so if you have a question that you have answered, submit it at newschannelnebraska.com. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website and join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. while we answer your questions.